I did a video not too long ago, you know, detailing uh, the crash that led to Carlin Dunn's death at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb this year. And his back tire lost traction and then it violently gained traction and it ejected him off the front of the bike. It high sided and he actually was ejected over the road down a 30 foot embankment and he died from his injuries man it's really sad he's only 36 years old i think it was at the end of june uh rest in peace brother he was a good dude man really good dude he won the four-time champion of the event dude was a beast he was on pace to break the record there man and he crashed 20 yards uh from the from the finish line that's messed up man but at least he died doing what he loved to do but unfortunately the people that run the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb are some pansies out there because guess what? I got bad news for you. But let, here, let me get on my bike here. My lovely YZ450 FX, baby. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. But for those of you guys I, that want to ride on a hot summer day without being burning up in leathers, I tell you, I got this awesome sea armor jacket underneath this jersey here that you can get and this uh, dual sport helmet. I, normally, I'm rocking my carbon fiber ultra lightweight uh, street bike helmet with mirror shield, uh, airbag vest, leather gloves, uh, leather pants, all, leather jackets. All my stuff I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Woo! I love this stuff. Rap, rap, rap. Oh, I love it, baby. <gasps> yeah. But uh, unfortunately, they have decided to end the motorcycle portion of the race for 2020. And possibly in the foresee in the future. It may be completely done, guys, because there has been seven deaths. Uh, it's been in operation, the motorcycle portions, they've been racing for 29 years. They had only seven deaths, which I think is pretty good, man. Seven deaths, guys, and uh, only, but since 2012, they had three, three deaths. Ever since they paved the top portion, it used to be gravel up there. I rode it myself, by the way, back in 2015. I rode it on my, uh, went up on my WR250R. I did a moto vlog up it, actually. If you want to go see that moto two-part series moto vlog of Pikes Peak, I'll include the video link in the description and comment section of my videos, uh, of this video. So go check it out. They blame it really on paving the top portion of the road because it was, you know, it was gravel. Back when it was gravel at the top portion of it, you couldn't go as fast. So there's only so much you could do. It's only so much speeding you can do. And, and it was a lot safer really back then. Um, even though I like it fully paved, uh, but and it, but it's, it is what it is, and they decided to cancel it. You know, the three deaths since 2012, of course, like I said, Carlin Dunn this year, and then back in 2015, it was Carl Sorenston, and then back in, um, back in 2014, it was uh, Bobby Gooden. It was on a Triumph Daytona 675R. His bike, for some reason, he couldn't cut off his 675R, and he crashed in the parking lot. He went past the finish line, he raised his hands in the air like, ah, I won! And then he couldn't cut his bike off, and he crashed into some boulders in the parking lot. Uh, so that sucks, man. And then Carl Sorenston, I think he, he high-sided off a cliff. And of course, you know, Carlin Dunn, he uh, he high-sided off his bike and went down a 30-foot embankment and he died. Rest in peace to all of them. Those racers are absolutely amazing, man. I'll tell you. Um, let me go ahead here, man. Yeah, it's really action over here. <laughs> yeah, have a good old time over here, boy. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, it's really, uh, I'm really, I'm sad for the riders that died on there, but I'm, I'm, I'm really sad that they uh, ended the event. I know that, the, that those dead riders would probably be really pissed off. They're like, 
because there's they hold a lot of road races out there guys all over the world man they don't shut them down there's a lot of people died on isle of man uh race and they don't shut it down man and uh because this shit happens even moto gp there's been riders have gotten killed out there you know what i'm saying that's just is what it is Woo! <laughs> good times baby it is what it is it is what it is hey we got some dirt bike riders look at that i'm about to go ride down and chase down them dirt bike riders check it out damn oh that sucks man i missed the dirt bike action guys if you're listening for you officials out there that run that event please bring it back in 2020 shit happens man you know what i'm saying uh and you know what i'm saying those riders it was their time to go you know that's just it is what it is it likes even in car races people got killed in car races so uh you know they don't stop you know they, they don't stop the car races because people die in car crashes in the races you know what the risk is when you join it so i don't understand why they uh why they cancel that event man that's just it's whack but anyways leave a comment below i want to hear your thoughts on it do you think they should have eliminated the motorcycle portion excuse me not the event but the uh, the motorcycle portion of the race leave a comment below and let's talk about it Hit thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.